Hong Kong is home to an array of different dining experiences, but none are more tightly bound up in the local culture than yum cha. Literally meaning drink tea, yum cha refers to the everyday acts that many Hong Kongers enjoy, of sitting down at a restaurant with friends and family to eat dim sum and chit chat around a big, often round table, all over a pot of tea of course. One could spend a lifetime visiting all the yum cha spots in Hong Kong. So in this two-part special, we're going to concentrate on four restaurants that epitomize the main categories of yum cha experience to be found in the city. Old, new, urban, and rural. Through the course of our exploration, we'll be looking at the history and etiquette of yum cha in an attempt to make this quintessential Hong Kong tradition more accessible for those who are yet to experience it. And of course, we'll be gorging on some of the most mouth-watering dim sum bites in the city. This is Hong Kong Hoods. Part 1. Old and New Yum Cha Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome to the first half of this two-part exploration of Hong Kong Yum Cha. We're standing off today at the oldest tea house in Hong Kong, Lin Hung. Originating on the mainland all the way back in 1889, Lin Hung opened its doors here in Hong Kong in 1918 and has been serving the central neighborhood ever since. Along the way, garnering a loyal local customer base and cementing its reputation as an absolute Hong Kong institution. In line with its long, rich history, Lin Hung offers a very traditional yum cha experience, perhaps more so than any other place in the city. I am starving, so let's get in there and soak up some of the history while we dive into this yum cha journey. Let's do it. It's so incredible being in here. It's so spacious and you can just hear the, the buzz of chatter going on at every table and the clanging of pottery as people are sipping their tea and it really feels like you've kind of gone back in time. Uh, clearly the decor hasn't been updated in a few decades. Now one of the first things you'll notice coming in here is the trolleys carrying the dim sum and these dim sum carts are seldom seen in Hong Kong these days which is another reason why this place is such a traditional gem. These carts are great because all you have to do is collar the staff that are operating them and they'll come over and from there you just pick the dim sum that you want to eat. And it makes for a great, fun and relatively unique way of ordering food. Oh, a pro tip is to always, where possible, try and seat yourself near where the trolleys emerge from the kitchen because that way you get first dips on all the dim sum. So first thing is first, before we eat, and this is customary not just here, but in pretty much all yum cha restaurants around the city, we must wash our crockery and utensils with tea. And this historically serves a dual purpose. In Cantonese culture, the first lot of tea is not considered to be the best tasting. You've got to rinse it through once with water. Uh, so you're doing that, and also by washing your utensils with tea, you're making sure that everything is squeaky clean before you eat. When you are done with your tea, you're gonna need a refill. And to signal that you need a refill of hot water in your teapot, you simply remove the lid and place it on top of the teapot. And that signals to the staff to come and refill the pot. Uh, now, don't worry about how much tea you drink because at most Yum Cha restaurants have a tea surcharge, which is a flat rate, no matter how much or how little tea you drink. So enjoy. So we've ordered ha gao or shrimp dumplings, cha siu bao, which are steamed pork buns, pai guat, steamed pork ribs, and siu mai dumplings, which at yum cha restaurants usually come with pork, shrimp, and they're also usually sprinkled with a little bit of fish roe. Now, these dishes are absolute staples of yum cha, and you are likely to find them at pretty much all yum cha restaurants in the city. So good, so good. <laughs> Incredible. Mm. 
Jump. Dim sum literally translates in English as touching the heart. And in a place like this, where you're surrounded by history, the buzz of lively chatter, people having fun, not to mention the exquisite cuisine, it really rings true that that's what dim sum would mean. And all of these aspects coalesce to make Lin Hung Tea House an absolute must try when it comes to restaurant experiences in Hong Kong. The tea's not bad either. I think I'm ready for some more Yum Cha delights. So let's now move on from the old to the new. Yum Cha is another Yum Cha restaurant located just around the corner from Lin Hung Tea House. Despite being located nearby, however, this place is a million miles away in terms of the experience it provides, with the emphasis here being on Yum Cha with a contemporary twist. Let's check it out. We've arrived at Yum Cha to round off this first half of our Yum Cha exploration of the city. And it's pretty obvious from the second you walk in here that this restaurant is pretty different uh, to what we've just experienced at Lin Hen Tea House. While this place certainly keeps one foot in tradition with its spacious layout and heartwarming odes to the past, like the iconic Hong Kong bird cages hanging from the ceiling, there's a distinct emphasis here on the modern, especially when it comes to the food, with these new fun plays on traditional dim sum, like the ones we've got here, including barbecue pork buns shaped like pig faces, these baked pineapple puffs uh, shaped like birds in a traditional bird cage, and I think these are particularly beautiful, really well crafted. We've got some gorgeous colored hargau, can't wait to try that, and then some lovely looking spring rolls. And I'll be honest, it almost looks too pretty to bite into. These are works of art in themselves, so beautiful and well crafted, but they do also look delicious, and I can definitely fit some more in, so let's give them a try. Sorry, buddy. That's delicious. Really nice, flavoursome pork, and the bun is just really soft. Wonderful. Almost too pretty to eat. Almost too pretty to eat. Tangy, wonderful and soft. Good. Lovely. Yum. Now, I'll be honest, I did not know what to expect coming in here, uh, but I've been pleasantly surprised, I must admit, uh, because the effort clearly doesn't just go into making the food beautiful and Instagrammable. Uh, there's clearly some effort and passion in the flavor, and it shows that this is a place that is pushing the age-old tradition of yum cha into the 21st century and making it attractive to a new generation of customer. Now I'm stuffed, so let's get out of here. And that concludes the first half of our Yum Cha tour around the city. Join us again very soon for part two, in which we'll be exploring the ubiquitous urban and rarer rural Yum Cha experiences to be found in Hong Kong. Along the way, finding out more about Yum Cha's rich tradition and delicious dishes. See you soon for all this and more. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Hong Kong Hoods.